In this demonstration of Barbony's front office, I'm going to take you through a typical IT self-service request, the new starter request. This brings together a number of what can uh, sometimes be uh, individual requests into one encompassing request that could be used uh, for a business process such as uh, a new starter. So I'm going to come into my uh, service catalogue, I'm going to go onto the carousel uh, and in this case I'm going to click on to uh, people services. A uh, number of different uh, types of people services that we've got down here, but the one I'm interested in is the uh, onboarding new employee. The first thing that I can do is to actually go and look at the information uh, around this actual uh, request and this service. Uh, so in here we can view uh, information about the service itself, whether it's uh, price description or uh, service level description. Uh, and uh, all, of those, uh, all of that information can be stored in here uh, and can be viewed uh, by the end user before they go and raise the request. Once they've read that, then all they need to do is to click on to uh, the request button there. And uh, we're now into the request process. The first thing we're going to do then for a new starter is to give them uh, a choice of uh, different items that they can uh, add into uh, their, their new starter request. Also on here we've got a choice between a new starter who may be ordering Windows uh, and one that's ordering uh, 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 an Apple OS X uh, type environment as well. Yours may be uh, around uh, different types of new starter, mobile worker, uh, etc and you can design all of that in uh, to the process very easily as well. These are just examples of what uh, might be uh, might be used uh, in example environments. So in here then you can see the different elements that we've got. So we've got some hardware up here. I can choose here between a, a desktop and a laptop. Uh, and also in here we've got some uh, software options as well. You'll notice that there's no uh, boxes to tick for the hardware for the software and also the uh, installation of the new starter account down here. Um, so those are, uh, if you like, uh, mandatory for, for a new starter and all of that can be designed uh, within the bundle uh, as you're building it up. So down here we've got uh, telephony services, new, new network domain accounts, etc. Uh, and you can just add in whatever is relevant for you. I'm not going to add anything, I'm just going to take the, uh, the basic items that we've got in there uh, and click on request now and we now get taken into our uh, requisition. So you can see we've got uh, some information that we need to fill in uh, about this new starter. So if I come into here, first of all I'm going to uh, create a new starter request for uh, John Smith and uh, we're going to assign it to a particular cost center uh, that we've got stored in the system as well. Uh, we can also then ask for other information about this user uh, the start date etc uh, and also which department they're going into. Uh, first of all you'll see when I pick department we then uh, explode out with the different roles that may be uh, available within that uh, department. Uh, when I go to uh, location, so we actually pick the location that this user is going to work at, you'll see now that we're looking at the first integration points uh, within this request process uh, and this is where we're going out, we're taking information from the request we're going out via a web service to an external system that may be your HR system, a spreadsheet or, or a repository of some kind. And what we're doing is we're taking all of this information out and we're saying, what are the managers uh, who are in the location of Paris? So you can see there, I've got a number of different uh, managers that we could go and select from. Uh, obviously, if I change the location now to uh, New York, uh, then this time when I click on the uh, drop down here, we're going to be presented with managers who are in New York. As I say, all of this information uh, is being supplied uh, from an external system and we're, being, we're bringing this into the request. Further down then, you'll see I've got uh, some uh, options around uh, corporate application access. So these are all different uh, corporate applications that we, we may want to have for, for a new starter as well. And you can see we've we defaulted it to include some and exclude others. Uh, notice here that we've got a section one and section two. As this request goes through, uh, you, you can uh, add different sections to the different roles who are actually going to work on it uh, as well. Okay, so next I'm going to go on to the uh, item details. Uh, here then we can review the items that, that we put into the basket. You'll notice at this stage we don't have any uh, information associated to the software item. 
but when I click on submit request uh, and what it'll do then is to bring up a list of approvers but what it also did was in the background we uh, made it trigger uh, a link to uh, actually add more information uh, for this software item so again what we've done is we've done another integration link uh, to go out and look at the software repository uh, to look at what uh, licenses are held and what uh, deployment information we have uh, and then it's brought all of that back into front office. Now normally it may be that we don't actually show this to an end user but as part of the demonstration we've just incorporated it so that it, uh, it shows up here. In here then we could see things like the number of licenses that were owned and available etc. What we can do is we can put some uh, uh, limits on this so we can say if uh, the licenses are available, say less than five, we could then maybe later on with, when we get to fulfillment trigger off uh, some other processes there as well. Okay so when I click on uh, submit uh, request again it brings up the different uh, approval chain that we can go through. Uh, you'll see up here we've got a line manager, we've then got what we call some uh, notifiers so each of these will receive uh, an email saying that this uh, request has been put through and then finally we've got this stager role. The stager role uh, can actually go into the request and uh, can actually uh, decide whether or not uh, the user should be having a, a new desktop or whether or not we can uh, provide one from stock. And if one is provided from stock, uh, again, it does an integration link out to uh, an external uh, repository, spreadsheet, uh, store, whatever, and brings in uh, maybe any assets that are available uh, under this cost center for this user to, to be re reused. Uh, now, I'm not going to go through all of the approval, as I say. Uh, they'll normally each receive uh, an email. On that email is a hyperlink. They click on that to come into the system uh, and either approve or, or decline the request or, or update it as they're instructed to. Uh, because I'm an administrator, I've, I've got the right to actually over, override approval. So what I'm going to do is just override that now uh, and we'll go straight on as if uh, all of that request has been uh, approved and uh, we're going to go straight on into uh, fulfillment. Uh, so within fulfillment then we can then build out a number of different uh, activities. Uh, so this is we call this fulfillment because it's, it's uh, going to fulfill the request. It's going to send that request around to a number of different uh, either uh, systems or people uh, and, and have activities that are placed on it. We have three basic uh, activities within the system. We have uh, the ability to send out uh, emails, so we can generate an email to somebody to go and maybe ask them to go and do something. Uh, we can also have this, what we call a manual inbox task. So here, this is being used to go and ask the IT team to actually go and update the request that is uh, within the system. Uh, and then further on down here, uh, we've got some uh, automatic uh, uh, activities that are actually gonna pass this request onto another system. In this case, we're going to go and deploy any software uh, that has been picked uh, by updating, in this case, the, uh, the AD account for the user. Uh, and in this one, we're going to go off and raise a help desk ticket, uh, which will go and uh, create a help desk ticket in another system. We can then go and uh, open and close that ticket. Uh, and as that goes through, uh, once that, that ticket is closed, it'll close in here and we can then come back and uh, close the request. This one is going on in, in real time. So you can see we've picked up uh, the different elements there. So we've picked up the pull PC from stock. So an email's gone off asking for somebody to do that. And also it has for a security card as well. And each of the individual processes that you have uh, can be built into here uh, so that you can have these uh, within the, uh, the flow as well. This manual uh, task then, again, somebody would be sent uh, an email. They'd be asked to uh, uh, click on the hyperlink on that email to bring them back into the system. But again, because I'm a, an administrator, we can actually go in and view that task. Uh, we can see the details of that task here and we can see who it's been assigned to. At the moment, the complete button is grayed out. Uh, but what I can do is come in to uh, actually edit the request and complete the details that are mandatory now for this particular role. As I said before, you can see other information in here that has been uh, updated. Uh, so we can see things like the recycle information and also this IT team uh, update information have been added into the request as, as the request has gone through. Uh, what I need to do for this task is to just tick the box saying that all tasks 
are completed and I can put a, a comment in there and if I wanted to as well we could attach some uh, extra information into the request as well. So once I've uh, completed that all I need to do is to click on to uh, complete task uh, click OK I can put some more comments in there if I want to uh, and then what I get uh, brought to is a list of any other outstanding tasks that, that I might have to do uh, as well. But let's go back now and look at the uh, request that we can see uh, that's going through. Uh, so we can see now that that uh, request, if we go back to the fulfillment, uh, is going to uh, uh, pass on through. It's going to go off now to the uh, automated uh, activities down here. So it's going to go off and deploy the software and it'll also go off and raise a help desk ticket. And when that ticket is uh, closed remotely, that'll come back and close the, uh, the request in here. It'll complete uh, the uh, activities that you see on here, and uh, it'll complete the request as well. So it's just a very quick uh, overview of, of how uh, a new starter request with all the different processes uh, can be brought in to, uh, to be managed within uh, front office. If you want to know more information about this, please visit us at uh, www.biomni.com. Thank you.